What's up, nerds? Welcome back. This is episode two of me playing some League of Legends. So in the first episode, I just kind of went through the tutorials uh, with you guys, hopefully, and uh, just showed you a little bit of the basic stuff of the game of League of Legends. Um, if you had never played before, hopefully that was helpful. If you would like to play, the game is free. You just go to LeagueOfLegends.com, sign up for an account, and if you'd like to refer me, just I think there's a spot in there to type in Echo Base as your referrer and uh, get the down get the game downloaded and yeah start playing it's free uh, there is a side of it that you can use uh, real money for if you'd like go to the store here I'll show you a little bit about that um, for example you can purchase RP riot points so right up here you got riot points and influence points influence points you earn just from playing games so the more you play the more you earn and then riot points you purchase and then certain things like skins these can only be purchased with those riot points so other things uh, can only be purchased with riot points too like changing your summoner name if you ever need for some reason to change that um, but most stuff that is actually vital to the game like runes for example uh, you earn our or sorry you earn IP the influence points and you can buy those as you level up and stuff to help to strengthen your champions uh, and then what you do there is you go into the room oops yep room page there and you can make a page of runes that give you things like armor magic resist ability power etc so anyway Let's just go ahead and jump into another game here. We're gonna just make a, uh, we're gonna do a co-op versus AI game. So this will actually be a team of me and four other actual real people. Uh, we'll just go ahead and do a beginner game. And the five of us will be playing against five bots. So five computers. This chair is a little squeaky. Okay, we got a match. Hopefully we got a match found here. Ooh, trying to adjust a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and just pick... Who should I pick? I'm going to go ahead and pick Rise. Uh, no, I don't want to pick Rise again. You guys got a little bit of that. I'm going to play Cassiopeia. Don't you find Actually, you know what? Welcome to the League of Dream, I'll play an attack damage guy again. Similar to Ash. This guy's name is Graves. So I'll select my AD, attack damage, runes, and masteries, and I will probably just stick with ignite and flash for this round. Uh, I don't need to see that tip again, but basically right now, so this is my team over here. These are the other usernames. These are the champions they've selected at this point. Uh, see, I'm still picking. I have not yet locked in, and neither has this guy, but these three have locked in. These five over here are the enemy team, but we can't see their names or, or their champions or their summoner spells. So we don't know what to expect yet. But generally in a, in a game, there's a particular type of role for each of the five players. There's someone who is the attack damage carry, which is me. There's the a ability power uh, carry, which is this person. This character is Akali. She'll be in the mid lane. I'll be in the bot lane, probably with this champion, Kale. Uh, and then it looks like we do not have a jungler, but then probably these two guys will go top. Oh. Strange. So they decided to go a weird combination of people on the bottom. Alright, well I guess we'll just see where this goes. Sometimes in bot games, People don't play like the normal uh, metagame style where there will be someone soloing in the top lane. Generally a kind of a beefier champion that can take a little more damage but also can deal quite a bit of damage. Uh, a lot of times they're called a bruiser. And then they'll be facing another similar type. One person will be in the jungle killing those monsters for golden experience. And then they're also able to move back and forth between the lanes and help gank and hopefully get kills 
for uh, the team and help their teammates win their lanes. Um, so then they'll probably usually there's one person in mid, also the mid lane, and then on the bottom lane there are generally the attack damage carry and then a support champion, which would be like Kale, which is why I thought her and I might be on the bottom lane together. Shivana, this person is uh, a very good jungler, so a lot of times you'll see her with Smite, and she will be jungling, doing the ganking and killing of jungle monsters and things. Akali is a ability power champion, so she would be the one normally taking the solo mid role. Rangar is actually a brand new champion. Uh, I believe he just came out either today or yesterday. I'm, I'm going to just go ahead and start this game off normal style, get some boots and three health potions. So I'm going to see. I'm going to talk to my team there. Where sh should I go? I spelled shit wrong, but it's okay. So I'm going to go top. Apparently, with Rengar. Alright. Generally in bot games like this, people are a little more relaxed. They're not quite as serious as they would be in a normal game, or especially a ranked game, where you can earn rating and uh, advance that way. So I'm not really even sh that sure uh, what this champion is capable of. I've seen him a little bit, but since he is brand new, I'm not... Um, super confident in what he can do and what I can do to play with him um, in the lane. But we shall see, hopefully. Maybe we'll learn a little bit together. This game is all about just information, learning uh, about the champions, the ones you play, about the ones that you play against, uh, about how to last hit well and earn as much gold as possible, how different matchups between pairs of champions will go. Um, and, you know, when you should be pushing your lane to try and take a tower, when you should just be focusing on minions, when you should be trying to harass the enemy players. But right now, again, we're, uh, it's just five real players versus five computers, so shouldn't be too terribly difficult. We'll just kind of have some fun. So we're just going to harass these guys. So we're just dealing some damage. So he's hurt, so he's probably going to want to kind of push out of the lane a bit. Yeah. They're going to have to back off because we just dealt a lot of damage to them. And you don't want to die. Dying is never a good thing. Even if you can get a kill while you do it, it's generally not good. Because if you die also, even if you kill somebody, you get gold, but they also get gold. So this guy's just jumping out of bushes like, like a madman. Oh man, I'm not doing very well. My last hits. That's why it's good to have, when you're uh, an AD carry, it's generally you're on the bottom lane with a support. And that, that player doesn't try to last hit. They just help you uh, stay alive, harass the enemy team. And they let you take all of the last hits. So this guy, both of these guys had to go back to base because they were so low. I'm going to go ahead and use my health potion here because I'm getting a little low. So this is, I'm facing Leona and Warwick. And they're both sort of tanky. They, they can take a lot of damage. Yay, we got a kill. Can we get two? Yes, we can. Alright, so I got one kill there, and Rengar got the other kill, but we both got the assist for each other's kills. You also get gold for the assists, not as much as if you get the killing below yourself. But, either way, we I felt like we did pretty good there against our bots. 
So one little trick you can learn, generally when a, an enemy is targeting you, there's kind of like... See how this tower right now has a red outline around it? That means I'm attacking it. Um, Uh-oh, running out of minions. Okay, Warwick and Leon are back. Oh, this guy's crazy. This guy is crazy. I kind of stole that guy's kill there, but... Oh, we can't get him. Oh, yeah, so like I was saying, normally when a, a minion is targeting you, they have a yellow outline around them. See, like right now, these guys have yellow outlines because they're targeting me. So I'm assuming this guy's just kind of new to Rengar and is just experimenting. I'm going to use my last health potion. I do have a bunch of gold. I could just go back to base, but I'm going to just work on finishing this tower. Uh-oh, Leona's coming back. I bet you we can kill her. We got her. Good job, Rengar. We got him. So right now we're just kind of taking advantage of the fact that the bots are pretty easy to kill. Because they're not smart like people. They can't... They don't think about how players will play and, how, you know, things like that. How to counter what they're doing. They're just kind of programmed to do their thing. So we're just destroying these guys on this top lane. Oh, they're sending in backup. Oh, he stunned me. That's Tarek. Tarek the gem knight. But he's scared. Uh-oh. Tower saw me. Oh no. I gotta flash away. So flash is great because you can use it defensively or offensively. I am very, very low, so I am going to just get over here where it's safe. And I'm going to recall back to base. Heal up, and I'm going to spend some of this gold. This guy's nuts. See how he's doing. He got... Oh, it wasn't even him. But he'll get this. He'll get this kill, I bet. Oh, he gave up. He's melee range, so he was just out of range. I'm going to get a bunch of damage-dealing stuff. Save, wait for a couple seconds till I get 450 gold and I can buy a little bit of life steal. So life steal, I, I believe in the last episode I kind of talked about spell vamp, which is as you deal ability power damage, you will uh, gain back a little bit of the damage you deal in health. Life steal is very similar, um, except it is for your attack damage, so you like your auto attacks. So as you're auto-attacking, I got this Vampiric Scepter, which is stealing back a little bit of that. I'm going to go help this mid laner right now. Hopefully take down this turret. And in bot games, they never have a jungler, so that's another thing to keep in mind. Alright, I just got my ultimate ability. So we're, we're doing some damage now. Oh, where are you going, Kale? Oh, she's in trouble. Got her. Uh-oh, Annie wants to play, too. Woo, double kill! Well, I got, I got another, uh, another two kills there. Got some more gold for it. One thing to learn about the game, um, as you actually um, kill the same person over and over, uh oh, Kale's mad about the double kill, <laughs> you will actually uh, be worth less and less gold if you continue to die. So like me, because I haven't died yet and I have seven kills. 
I'm actually worth quite a bit of gold. So if I do die now, they're going to get bonus gold. Because I've been on sort of a streak of killing. So I hope, hopefully if any of you have played before, you guys know most of this, I'm sure. But just in case you don't. I'm just trying to earn gold and clear some of these minions out of here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got some fighting going on here now. Gotta be careful though, I'm really low health. Uh-oh. Alright. So looks like we got four of us down here on the bottom lane. Legendary. Alright. We're doing work down here. Echo Base in Ro Rockham, Scotland. Rockham. Uh oh. Alright, so we're out of minions. And I'm real low. But I can lifesteal some of it back. As you can see, I'm kind of slowly gaining my health back. You do always... Ooh, uh oh. Her ultimate ability is scary, but she's only level 3. That's too bad. She's very far behind. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh golly. I should go back to base. Right now I'm being pretty crazy by staying with such little health. But, again, it's bots. I'm not too worried about their ability to uh, pick me out and realize I'm so low health. Although I should go now. I'm gonna do it. Oh, I guess, I guess Tarek wants to play. We got him! Good job, team! Kale. You're nuts. So obviously when you're taking uh, minion damage, you're just sitting there taking it like I just was. Gotta be careful because they can do quite a bit of damage together. I kinda did just steal that, but I did a I did a good amount of work there. Uh oh. I gotta be careful. I mean these are bots, they are way behind. Ooh, level five Tarek, huh? Oh, she's crazy. All right, I'm going to go back. This is way too low. I'm just way too low. All right, I'll stay. Oh, never mind. I am leaving. For real. We got a misfortune right here. Misfortune bot. She's another attack damage carry like like I am with Graves. So she can do a lot of damage if you're not careful. So I just bought a Infinity Edge and a dagger. So Infinity Edge gives me a lot of extra attack damage. 80 attack damage plus 25% critical strike chance. And the passive on it is my critical strikes now deal 250% damage instead of 200. So normally your, your critical strikes, uh, if you're familiar with this type of game much at all, you'll know about crits and how they deal double damage. Uh, but this item makes them deal extra, so these little numbers floating down and around show how much damage I'm dealing with each hit or with each ability. So like 106, 106, 106. I don't know if you can crit on towers. Oh, triple kill up there. Okay, so they're doing work. I'm doing work. 
but I'm gonna go meet up with them because they're they're fighting. Basically, there are kind of two phases of this game. There's the laning phase, which is ooh, they just exploded. The laning phase, which is the early part of the game where you're in a lane most of the time, one single lane, doing your stuff. Just pushing your lane, trying to defend your tower and also push the other tower, the enemy's tower. Killing minions, earning an extra gold. But then also, uh, there's the second part, which is like the team fighting part of the game, which is kind of like right now. Generally, uh, attack damage carries are very strong later in the game for team fighting. So, like, I, I can do a lot of damage right now. Woo! We're just kind of destroying them in their own base right now. We're just waiting it out. <laughs> I am 18, 0, and 6 right now. I only have 85 minion kills, which is fairly low, actually. Oh, I'm out of mana. Can't get too close to their to their spawning pad though, or you will take a lot of damage from their uh, laser beam turret. Pretty scary. Level four Leona. She's not very scary. So again, this is just kind of a very easy AI game. Not a lot to it. Guess everyone left, so I will too. Go recall, go buy some more items. Get some more mana. I'm very low on mana after all that fighting. But, uh, yeah. Get that. Actually, I can almost afford this, but not quite. Legendary. Legendary. So the team score is 66 to 3 right now. Again, it is a bot game. Ooh, I can slide right through there. Legendary. Legendary. Your team has destroyed the turret. Don't think I can squeeze through here. Let's try it. Oh, I can. Got myself that blue buff, so my mana will regen faster now. See if I can do this one. Yeah, some of those you can't slide through. But let's go fight some people now. Oh, Annie, she's gonna die before I even get there. Oh, they're all dead. This fortune's scared. All right, we got their two Nexus turrets, and we're going for the Nexus. Well, we did it. Good job, team. We killed the Nexus. So we won again. That was a quick game. Let's see how long that one actually was. <clears throat> it's only 17 minutes. Let's play again. I was 19 and 2 and 5 for that game. So that's pretty fun. These are always good, uh, fun games. Very easy and uh, good practice. Good to learn things. Good to try new characters. Ooh, we got a lot of people. I want to try doing jungle just so I can show you guys that. Um, let's see here. I'll just go ahead and do an Alistar jungle. He's a fun champion. Get my runes and masteries all set up. And uh, I'm ready to go. So now what this means, oh, so I'll show you actually. This is what Alistar normally looks like. Just purple guy, purple cow 
Sort of like a Torin. He actually, I think, was modeled after a Torin from Warcraft 3. A lot of his abilities are similar. But uh, I actually have a couple skins. This one is free. If you, uh, I believe, just link your YouTube account to your uh, LOL account. Oh, man, I meant to ch choose that other one. but That one is free. So if you have a YouTube account and you play LOL, you can go get that free Unchained Alistar skin that I'm using now. But I also have another one. That'll be for another day, perhaps. So, we have a Misfortune bot, a Warwick bot, Annie bot, Lux bot, and Renekton bot. My guess is that Annie will be in the middle. Lux will be on the bottom with Misfortune, and it will probably be Warwick and Renekton on the top lane. For our team, I bet it will be a Nivea in the middle, unless Diana tries to take it could be either one of them. Ezreal probably on the bottom and Singed on the top. I will be in the jungle so one of these two probably Diana will end up going with Ezreal I would assume. And looks like we're all summoned so the game should be starting now. There we go. Same old same old get some boots pots. Boots of speed and three health potions. I'm going to start with Pulverize. Nothing can hold me back. Explain the, um, who they're freaking out about, where to go. Anged Topple. Trying to help my team out. So one thing that's always good to do is be, uh, be helpful to your team. Communicate. Be nice. A lot of people rage in this game and just are mean to people for no reason. Stampede. Kind of full of themselves, so... Nobody likes to play with those people, no? Nobody likes to be... on a team with a bunch of annoying people. Now I'm angry. Hopefully people will help me out here. So my pulverize ability, Alistar smashes the ground. Deals 60 damage. Obviously these go up the more uh, levels you get and rank them up. And it all, it bounces all the people up near you into the air. So like, bam, they all bounced up. So I'm jungling now. It was the, it was the old golem. Leashing. So he attacked them, so they're all chasing after him and not damaging me, but I'm damaging them. Get a health potion going now. Because I'm taking the damage. And then I will show you Smite deals 445 damage at this level. And that guy is dead now because I just smited him. I'll, get, I'll just get heal level 2 for some a little healing so that I got my E second triumphant roar which heals for 60 heals me and any uh, half as much to any nearby allies including minions or heroes so I'm just gonna keep healing up and keep killing these jungle camps uh, so ooh, there's the first blood So this wolf camp has respawned. I'm going to head back over there. I believe the uh, wolves and the raids and then this other one here, which is double golems, respawn every one minute. So... Um, yeah, every minute you can go back and I'll be there again. I'm going to go help out my top lane because he's low and he's in a 2v1 lane. So it's always going to be hard. But, oh yeah, he's he just got himself a kill. Good job, Singed. Keep healing myself as I walk up here. But we're going to get this guy. 
Watch this. Headbutt. Bam. Got him. I'm going to heal Singed up a bit because that heals him as well as me. Maybe give him another heal. Oh, he's going back. Okay. Here's a new concept for jungling people who are new to the game. Not in general. I'm not making this up. But you can go into the enemy side of the jungle, past the river here, and try and do their stuff. Since I know that there's no jungler on the enemy team, I'm just going to be in here taking their ancient lizard, or the elder lizard. He has a different a red buff on him. And what that does is when you hit an enemy, it uh, gives you... Or when you when you hit an enemy champion, it does a little damage over time thing to them, and also slows their movement speed. So I'm gonna see if I can't set up another little gank here. Singed is back. And both of these guys are back. And we got him. I was all sneaky and I came around the side so that's that's the importance of jungling having a jungler on your team uh oh taking a lot of damage here you got him singed you got him I believe in you good job we did it so I'll show you here the double golem camp for their side same as right here but up on the purple side. It's right here. Same sort of thing as any of the other little jungle camps, except they're a little tougher. A little more health. Uh-oh. Warwick probably knows I'm here, but since he's a body, he doesn't really care. I don't think I could do this fight one-on-one -on -one right now, because I'm so low health. He's full health, full mana. And I'm out of mana now. And I don't have any minions to help me. There they come, though. <clears throat> but I'm actually going to go back to base. Type to my friend. I'll be right back. And I'm just going to go and buy some uh, gold pretend items. Like, similar to what a support would do. Oh, you know what? I'll just wait it out. I only need another 10 gold now, and I already have one item that gives me gold per 10. But, this is going to be my second gold per 10. So now I'm gaining a lot of extra gold, just passively. So you already... Ooh. They destroyed a turret. So I just got some bonus gold. 150, I think. But, so I have... You already just get, normally, a small amount of gold generating all the time. And now that I have two extra things, so this Philosopher's Stone gives me health and mana regeneration, as well as generate an additional five gold every ten seconds. So basically a gold every two seconds. But I have two of those now, so, and this one gives me also 200 health. So, they'll probably be back here pretty soon. Oops, I should have been healing him as we were walking, but I forgot. I was talking. So. Uh-oh. Warwick knows. But we're going to get him. Uh-oh. Misfortune showed up. So we got to switch targets. Got to switch targets now. She's going to die. She's trapped. But now we got him. Just did my little combo on him. Got him a double kill. So helping gank your lane is very important because it can help them win their lane very easily. Oh wow, ace. Ace means all of the enemy players are dead at the same time. A couple of them must have just respawned, but... Yeah, so you can see their timers here. When you press tab, you can see you know, everyone's name, their level, their summoner name. Uh what items they have, how many minion kills they have, and their scores. Um, 
Although, see like right now, only two of them are white. Two of them are grayed out. Okay, now three of them are white. Oops, I just kicked him over the wall. I didn't mean to do that. And I, I can go over here and find him. No biggie. Triple kill. But when they're uh, white like that, that means you can see them somewhere on the minimap. Uh-oh, where was that? Where did our ally get slain at? Can't even see. Can't tell. Oh well. This guy is Ezreal over here. He's doing some work. Oops, I just totally miss that golem with my Q. No big deal. You get another turret, Ezreal? Going to town on these bots. So sometimes these guys take a while to kill if you don't have smite, which is why smite is so good. I'm gonna sneak around on this guy, because I bet you we can kill him. Oh, they're running away. They might have saw me. Bam! And I kind of just stole that kill, but it's okay. It's a bot game. And he's mad about it, because it's a bot game. Oh, you're gonna die. You're gonna die, Lux. So we're already up into their bottom lane turret, their inhibitor turret, protecting that inhibitor there. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, back off a little bit, see three of them down here. But I bet you we could bait one of them into chasing us and then kill them. Uh-oh, they're all coming to help now. So I'm just going to run away. Just fighting them. Epic fight with the bots. Double kill. We're coming for you, Renekton. Oh, whoops. I messed up my combo. Oh, Sin just got it. Under control. Legendary. Tank that tower for a little while. So my teammate can get the job done, and he did it. So that's kind of the primary role as a jungler. One is to just help your, your lanes win. Help your teammates win their lane. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, I need to get out of here. Woo! So I'm just helping out. Alistar's role is kind of a tanky jungler, so basically it's my job to just tank. Uh oh. Ran out of mana, couldn't get my combo off. But I do have the blue buff, so I'm slowly getting that mana back. Uh oh. Oh, you wanna fight me, Lux? Oh, she just melted. Oh wow. I just totally missed everybody, but it's okay. Our team's doing good. We're all getting very low here. Oh, it's, can he do it? Nope, not quite. They got back to their, their spawning pad and they're regenerating health. See, that guy got a little too greedy there and went up to the fountain where that big laser turret is. Oh, you're, you're a dead man, Warwick. Okay, we're all very low, so we really should just get out. I'm getting out. Oh, Singed, you okay, bro? Yeah, he's okay. So we're just gonna get out of here now. We got a ton of gold to spend that we should have went to spend a while ago, but we're just having fun. It's a bot game. Let's see, I'm gonna buy, upgrade my boots to the boots of mobility. So, 
They make me move faster, but when I'm out of combat, they make me move even faster. I could straight up buy that. It's a big thing. That's a great support item, but I'm actually just going to go for a part of this for now. Get some more health. Now, I'm angry. now I can walk real fast. Go clear out some of these jungle minions. So I haven't really been doing a lot of jungling, actually, other than that first initial bit, but... Dominating. Always remember that all the jun jungle monsters respawn. Uh, the the three smaller camps, wolves, wraiths, and double golems respawn every minute. And then the golem here, the blue buff, and the red buff, the lizard, respawn every five minutes. So those are pretty important. Those buffs you get from them are actually very good. And they're important to uh, keep control of in more competitive play. So I'll actually... Yeah, go ahead and take those wolves singed. I'll go to the wraith camp. So they're doing work up here. Normally we should all kind of be together at this point in the game once a lot of turrets are down. But just having some fun. I'll actually go back and pick this item up, get a couple wards to show you about wards. God, like, wow, they're doing work. I think a lot of people, especially once you're already level 30, just come into these bot versus AI games not to learn, uh, really, maybe to learn specific characters better, just to get some practice, but also just for fun, just to get a lot of kills. So I'm going to buy a bunch of wards here, just for the sake of showing you guys what wards do, what they're like. <clears throat> I also bought an active item uh, in my inventory, so I'll show you what that does. This one's called Shirelia's Reverie. It built out of my uh, Philosopher's Stone I had earlier, and then another thing called a Ruby Crystal, which built into a Kindle Gem. So, I can use this, I can activate it, and it makes me and anyone in a certain radius around me, that big of a radius, uh, all speed up for a couple of seconds. Three seconds, you get 40% movement speed, so you run faster. It's good to get away from situations or s to initiate fights. So, wards. Here we are again by the Drake. Um, this is another a big objective for the game for both teams that they're going to want to take it because of all that bonus gold you get. So, keeping it warded is always good to know when the other team. So, like now, I walk away, and even though the fog of war has taken over, I can we can still see it because there's a ward there. Um. All wards have three hit points. You just have to hit them. You have to be able to see them, first of all. Because they do go into stealth mode after a couple of seconds. And then they have a timer. A three minute lifespan. So up here, this red thing on the map. The mini map here. This is another big monster. So this is a little bit harder. I mean, you can see it has 6,060 hit points. So it actually gets harder and harder as the game goes on. But right now, it is um, basically just for extra gold. Here is, this is Baron Nasher. This has even more hit points, 10,000. And he also has several spells and abilities he uses. So it's another good place to ward because once, again, once you leave that area, then you can see if the enemy is trying to complete this objective and kill him. And he actually gives a really good buff. But I don't think we can even kill him with the two of us. Let's try it though. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to do it, because we just don't do that much damage, the two of us. See, I mean, you can see how much damage we're taking, and how much he's taking. Oh, there's one, I think, Acid Waterfall or something. One of his Baron's abilities. So this guy is just annihilating us. We gotta run. We can't do it. But there are several places on the... On the uh, in the world that you want, or also on the world, on the map that you want to ward, just so you have vision, because when there is a jungler, like I am for my team in this game, uh, it's good to be able to have an idea of where they are. So places you can ward are like right here, because it's a high traffic area, there's three ways in or out. Um, so you can kind of see ahead of time, if you're the blue team on this side, 
and you know you're going against this tower before it was down you can then see if a guy's trying to come over here to gank you again my team won while I was just explaining things because it's easy bot game but yeah that was fun going over a little jungling for you guys I believe we actually yeah we've been going for a little while here so I think I am gonna go ahead and end this episode Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you learned something that you didn't know. Or uh, if you're just here to waiting for me to get into some, some more intense real games, those will be very soon. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Go ahead and make sure you check out the links that are over there on the other side to my YouTube, Jason Monday Music. Uh, please say hi on Twitter, Jason Monday. And be watching out because I should be tweeting about these videos when they come out. So... If you're looking forward to more of these League videos, I might even start actually doing some live streaming sometime pretty soon. So yeah, we will see you guys next time. Bye!